Welcome to a Let's Play Ruse video. Since um, Ruse is a fairly new game and it's actually a very good game, I thought I'd make a video of the gameplay myself. I'm not a rusher, so I don't just build a lot of tanks to go for the thing and get it over within 10 minutes. My game tends to last hours. So I've had to condense the game quite a bit, you know, to 10 minutes. The scene you're looking at now is me shelling a sole unit in a city, and if you notice, all the buildings are destructible in this. You can destroy forests as well the same way. So if you wanted to level the level the town and get rid of the cover that an enemy's using, just send your artillery in. It's actually uh, quite good and quite effective. If you look as well here, you see the AI in green is actually built an awful lot of admin buildings, and I mean a lot. When I've got about seven or eight for this map, he's got like just dozens. They all go mad. But this is the hard AI, and the hard AI cheats with the resources anyway. But it puts up a good fight. It's actually um, the English, French and um, Americans versus three German hard AIs. I can't remember if I made any of them different from the regular ones though. Anyway, as you can see here, the Germans are attacking me. They've already cleared my forces from that landmass, you see. I've got to retake it. Now they're coming in to take it again. I'm actually um, shelling them as they cross the bridge because on this game you can actually um, take them out as they come at you, exactly like you're seeing here. So you get to these um, choke points, and they're the best time to hit them. Plus also in this game, you tend to have to mix infantry, um, infantry with anti-air and everything else in order to be effective. Otherwise, one unit that you can't take out just walks up to you and annihilates everything. So it's important to get a strike a balance with your forces. Now here, it's a bit later on, the Greens have decided, that's my allies, have decided to come and help out. Which is good of them, considering most of my forces are spent defending their bases. I'm in blue. If you look around the map, you'll see I'm actually covering every single one of my um, AI bases. They would have been wiped out otherwise, because the German army and everything is just far superior to some of theirs in the early game. Of course, I'm being the English side, my armor's shit. <laughs> And um, I should be building loads of aircraft, but in this game I don't, because that's the um, British strength is the aircraft. Anyway, it's the, um, I think it's the French crossing the bridge and making a quick stab at the Germans. They don't get very far, but it looks quite cool, doesn't it? If you think, you know, it's, uh, it's like, um, it, some people compare it to um, what they call the company of heroes in the way it looks, but it's more of a larger scale than that. Anyway, as you can see the map it's huge, this is the Normandy map, D-Day, and I'm playing the Allies landing on the foot on the shore, and the Germans are counter-attacking. Here's the one where the infantry actually come at me, now the infantry here could easily overwhelm everything in that forest if they get close to it. So I've got my balanced force to take on a pure infantry force, so they would stand no chance that the numbers alone would overwhelm me. But the artillery, you see my assy, if you notice, the um, the shells just make make short work of the, um, of the infantry. And once these are gone, that means I can focus on the units in the town behind them. You see, that's, they don't all, not all attacks end that quickly. That was just lucky because I was prepared for some something like that. I've actually got a lot of artillery behind these um, forests which I used to take on the Germans from two sides. But you notice the Germans have got artillery as well because he's shelling me from the town. It means I've got to fan the artillery in the town and take it out before he wipes out all my defences. And there's some more mobile um, arty, I think. Short range ones, but they can cause a bit of a mess. But I've got anti-tank guns in that forest. And as they get closer, they just chew them up. It's like a little surprise attack. See, the Brits in South Africa destroyed most of the German tanks, well in Africa should, should I say, Des destroyed most of the German tanks using their um, anti-air, well anti-tank guns, not tanks. And um, they're actually best used that way. Stick them in the forest with infantry in air and any tank attack in the forest gets wiped out. You can also ambush, ambush things inside forests, like I'm sending my tanks now through the forest here. If, um, he had, if the Germans had any men in there, Every single one of them tanks would just get blown to burn the shit out of as it went through this um, road. I mean, that doesn't that look cool? I mean, how many strategy games you know they use the roads that effectively? 
does create some um, roadblocks sometimes, or the AI sometimes gets stuck. You know, it can't quite work out how to get all its men through a narrow gap. But if you imagine lining up your artillery on a, on a bottom like like that and just blowing the hell out of everything that goes through it, or even put troops either side like I am there, then you've got really got a kill zone. Here we go again. This is my third, well, my second or third attempt at his base here. Now, just look what the infantry, what the um, AI does here. As soon as I start attacking, he doesn't ignore me. He pulls his men back and comes after me to take me off because I'm flanked him. See, I've just used two ruses here. I've used the blitz rules to speed me up, and he used that silent, um, silent running, whatever one that hides me, hides me from them. So he wouldn't have seen me coming up to that bit there until I already arrived. Now I've arrived, his forces are finally responding to me and they're actually coming back. Now, his tanks are far better than mine. My first attack here just ended quickly. I mean, you look at it, it's one shot, one kill with that tank. That's his um, best tank there, it says, and just one shot from that wipes out my medium army instantly. However, if I get him close, the first time I got him close, I lured him into the um, forest area, as you can see, and the infantry took him out from me. I basically withdrew my men around the side of the forest, so he had to go around the side of the forest as well. And it just got annihilated by the infantry there. Now, I'm having to wait for reinforcements now, so I'll fast forward a bit, so let's see some of the battle. Now, as you can see, when they can see the infantry and they shoot them, they really do chew through them, they're, they're not invulnerable in the forest. They do have a, an advantage against tanks when they do their surprise attack, but anything that lands in the forest just wipes out infantry. So you've got to hide them using ruses and stuff. If you get a scout flying overhead, for instance, they'll spot them easily, and the first bit of artillery will just blow the hell out of them. Defending against artillery is part of the game. I know a lot of people complain they don't like it, but it is part of the game. You just use the ruses to hard and then go looking for the artillery shooting you which means you've got to have units available now this is how you get rid of admin buildings the artillery i've just brought up are now in range of his base and i'm just going to blow the hell out of all his admin buildings they produce resources for him now this will slow him down but it will stop him building because like i said the ai cheats it gets its resources you know from thin air Although I think he, he does get um, to use the ones he generates as well, so he's got like twice as much as me. Now, tanks are going in now to take on his base. The artillery is blasting from two sides, as you can see. And if I'm not mistaken, uh, is this all? Yeah, the French are coming in as well. So, so he's going to hit from three sides now. See, because when I attack from the side, he's had to but withdraw his men to take care of me. That's given my allies a chance to punch through elsewhere. So while I'm here, they were actually attacking somewhere else. I see somewhere in the distance. Because yeah, he does respond to attacks, like I said. If you you can actually use a ruse to lure him away, or you can use a real attack to, to lure him away. So he'll always respond to any attacks you make. Now, because I've destroyed most of your armament factories and stuff, and he's only got a few left, it's important to get rid of his tanks that are, that are kicking around now. So I'm, I'm lowering him into a place near this town here where I can blow the hell out of him using artillery and my own tanks. I'm going to take heavy losses here, but he's going to lose what's left of his tanks and I can finish off his base then. As you can see, it's working. Now he has an awful lot of tanks. I had to really hammer at that base for quite some time before I got rid of all his... Um, all his tanks, but it's worth it as you can see. It's um, it's a question of you know getting him into your kill zone, lowering him in. Now, it is a different thing. I've advanced around the map a bit further now to the next AI's base. I've got a lot more artillery now, and I'm just bombarding the second AI's base in the same way I did before, getting rid of his um, ability to produce units. I've also got tanks lined up along the river and anti aircraft guns or anti air guns, uh, tank guns. And take him on as he attacks me as well. This is uh, the end zone now. This is uh, near the end of the game. It's a few remaining tanks are now um, see he's being battered from all sides, as you can see. He's actually put up a good fight, as you see all the dead bodies. He's actually done quite well. And that's the end there. Uh, I've had to skip it real quick, but there you go. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed it. It's a good game, and if you haven't tried it yet, I recommend it. So enjoy.